I'm going to show you how to use live type, just some base, basics in creating a movie. So, uh, live type, first, this is just your interface. And the first thing you probably want to do is add some text. So, go ahead and just click up here in this box and go ahead and add some text, uh, whatever you want it to say. Uh, and then, if you want to change your font, color, and all that good stuff, highlight it. Um, fonts are over here on this side. So you just choose the, the font effect that you'd like to choose. And then you have to click Apply to actually uh, make that change and everything. Um, colors, you'll have to go into Attributes. So really just kind of go around and just start playing with uh, your different options you have um, as far as what you want your uh, text to look like. Um, there's quite a few things in here. I mean, you can really get technical in some of these things. Uh, back on your text tab, you can change the size of it in there. Um, stretch it out a little bit. So, um, quite a bit you can do. Uh, inside your styles, you've got some glows. And you just click on the tabs to enable those and click on the little uh, piece there uh, and to apply it. So, uh, really just kind of play with the tool uh, on there and make it look how you want to look. Uh, when you want to add a little bit of um, effects to it or actually make the type start moving, uh, go into effects and in there there's uh, quite a few different options. Also if you click on categories it'll give you even more options to work with. When you find one you like, click apply and then to actually see that um, work for you, you're going to have to come down to your timeline down here and actually just drag this little player head or if you wanted to you could even click on the little play key uh, on there so just I'm um, click holding and dragging to play that little player head uh, if you decide you don't like that after you can just come over here select that purple area that's your effect that you have on there and you could just press delete on your keyboard um, and that would go away I'm going to keep that in there uh, for now. <clears throat> so uh, those are your effects in there. If you click on those things, uh, you can also uh, modify and change some of those in attributes uh, style. So you can kind of play with some of these effects you can't do much with. You're just kind of stuck with what they give you. Uh, backgrounds, you can import uh, images in the backgrounds, um, do some things that way. Or if you want to go over here to textures, uh, there's some different types and once again there's categories you can choose from so you can choose from a number of different styles and then to apply that uh, you don't you can sometimes you can apply these onto text too but if you want to just apply it to the background just go to apply to new track and then that'll put that uh, in there for you so now we have animation in there as well as um, as well as your background animation too. So uh, right now um, I have uh, my text ends and right now you have two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. So if I want that text to actually stay in there longer go on to that and just go ahead and click hold and drag. You can pull that out to make that the same distance. So it's going to do is animation then it's going to be up there. If you want to add more text go up to track uh, and we'll go to new text track and then we just go ahead and just add in some more text and just kind of go through that same process that we just uh, went through. So you'd go probably into font, find style that you like. If you wanted to change your uh, colors, that uh, font did pop in the way I wanted to do. Um, so once again, attributes uh, and just kind of play with those features. So my color scheme is looking horrible right now. Um, once you get it all good to go and you want to save this and render it out, you probably want to save the project. So do a file save. And then when you want to actually see your final project as a movie, go ahead and come down here to uh, render movie. And uh, right now, if you just click, we'll give it a name. 
and then if I were to just click save it will render it out with just a black background so make sure you click on this render background and then click save uh, so it renders it out uh, correctly so it should take just a couple seconds to render out what you're doing and then make sure you pay attention to where you saved it to uh, and then you should be able to uh, play that and then if, if it renders out fine then you should be good um, to go if not then you can always go back in and fix it and everything so once this gets done it'll open up in a little player and you can just click play if you're happy with that then you can take that import it to another program and uh, you can go from there